How are you all doing, Ralph here, Ralph Customs. Got a nice quick little job. Hopefully, we'll see how it goes, modifying an FXR frame. passed by one car that is the traffic report for Burton Lazars on this crisp spring morning happy days let's get in there okay it's done first things first we're removing the paint with these clean up discs they're brutal but they don't take metal off so, need your safety swings on There's actually no spark, so we take all the paint and crap off like that. So, the dog can see the rabbit. Best we can. You know, sort of getting his shot blasted. It would probably be a good idea, to be fair. But now we can see, to just fucking get in there and chop it. Both sides. Uh, sorry, I'm not showing you very well. Chop it. I think, I think we need a cutting disc in there. A new one, a new cutting disc on the job. Not that one. It's not gonna go down far enough, ain't it? And then fucking that'll be gone. It's not gonna go anywhere. I thought about going to brace it and do stuff and things. You know, there's another one here, look. Unless we're getting rid of that as well, which I don't think we are. I need to look on, geez. Oh, you know, I think we fucking are. It's me saying that, I think we are. I'll look on my paperwork. If that's coming off as well, then... I still think we'll be all right. I don't think the rails are going to pull in, particularly, like... Hey, that was nearly a Freudian. Not Freudian's not the right word. It's nearly a cock-up, on it? So I'm cutting this fucker off and I've not marked where the holes are, they need to go there, look. I can't hold the camera and swing an hammer at the same time, so you'll have to fucking guess I'm doing it like. I'll centre punch those before I cut the fucking cross member off and lose my reference, eh? Good idea. Well, that's done it. I wish I caught that on film. <clears throat> A few swift blows. And she's off. I'll just cast her aside like the filthy mistress that she is. Anyway, so yeah, oh, the uh, the metal worms ain't too bad. We've done good as well. We caught it. We didn't chew into the existing, so we'll soft pad. We'll, we'll take that cleaning pad off, wherever it is, here. Uh, here, sorry. And we'll put a nice, not that one, because that's five inch. <sighs> Whatever. Put a flappy flappy on. And give it some love. Clean that up. Right, with that cleaned up, if it will focus, it's this line towards this side, not the other one, not that line, don't worry about that, but this line, the, needs welding to cap it off like, so I'll run a bead along there, and flip it over, and look at this one, and then we'll draw that through, and then we'll look at modifying that one. Oh, also, we've got to try the gearbox in, haven't we? That'll be a, that'll be a winner. Because that might fucking clout. Hey, if we can't get the... Uh, this, this is where the swinging arm mounts, which is that. If we can't get that in line without gouging the fucking sump with this, then that's got to fucking go. Um, and once we get it in place, mocked up, if you like, we need to put another cross member here in front of it. So... So we're not quite out of the woods, you know, but we're getting on. So 
what we got here. We've got them all welded and fettled and sealed up and solid. Now, I'm just debating whether there's enough material. And also, let's go trip away through to the fucking one we just took off. We cast asunder. It is literally, look, just two holes. It's not even a tube in there, fuck all. I'm tempted. I am, you gotta be tempted, ain't you? To run tube. To find a bit of tube that then bolts all go down through and drill holes big enough in that and weld tube in. That is kind of where I'm at, I think. I think that's the only way to do it proper. So we'll do that for So I found some tube, nice thick wall. Excuse me. Oh, just changed my speed, bear with. And the bolts, 3 8 bolts fit up, it lovely. So I'm just gonna face it off. So it's nice and square, like so. And then break that inner edge. And the outer edge with my file. And now I need to part a piece off 38 millimetres long. So I'll just bear with it. Just change my tool in look. Slightly getting in your way, but you know. Can't be any worse than that coolant pipe on the last video, eh? Fuck me. What's that all about? Right. Just uh, have it hanging out then. So we want 38 mil, don't we? Which is inch and a half in my book. So that's inch and a half at that. Cutting that up. Slow the machine down one. Part it off. Push your blows, Captain. We'll get her started. We'll back it off. Break that edge. Me dinky little file. Put a bit of lube on. And go again. There she blows. Boosh, come on. Boosh. So, I'll face that, I'll put that in the other way around and break that burr. And clean the end up a little bit. And uh, that's one of two. So I'll do another one the same. And then we'll get drilling some, this is 16 millimetres OD. So five eighths near as fuck it is to swear in. And I've got also just the right size. So we'll get on the frame and we'll drill that out to take these two things quite hot up. Right, with those made, we're back over at the frame and this is the original tab washer. The bolts go through that and it hangs on the links like, and then you bend the corner up to stop them coming off and digging in the road and giving you a bad day like. So I've just offered that up to double check, sanity check my hole sensors before I drill them out with a 16 millimeter hole saw and they're just perfect, which is nice. I'm going to try my best to get it through. Right, I'll put a bit of wood under it because I need to lean on this. Quite a bit like, I'll slow this fucker down. So, push me up and we'll see how it goes. This pilot drill is inherently dull and it keep me in to sharpen it, but it's a bit short. I don't want to lose too much of the length, if you know what I mean, boys. So, we're having to make do. Sure, Here we go, then. Scream if you want to go faster. Fuck it now, this is going to be hard work. I might fucking drill them out. Yeah. I might have to drill the sensors out. I only want to get through the, the top skin line. No. 
It's got to be a better way than that. Right, here we go. Take 10. Oh, fucking look at that. <laughs> he couldn't make it up. If you're watching, Chris, the struggle is real. <clears throat> Right. So it's going to take a while, I think. I've got a new one of these clutches, but I'm going to put it in because I'm touching weld, and I'm always going to fuck it, to be honest. So it's just going to go steady, like so. And I won't bore you with it, so you can join me once we've uh, once we've done. Okay. So new cutter. Fuck it. I've gone fuck it. New cutter, watch this, look. I don't know if it shows on camera, but that is just like fucking magic. And I ain't got to worry about it being anyhow, because once I've got through this, I'm going to turn the frame over and do the other old from underneath, like. So there you fucking go. Just as smooth as silk, that is. It's not exactly cutting it like it's butter, but we're through this top already. So, I will carry on off camera. So boys, we got them welded in. <coughs> I didn't bother filming that bit like. They're all cleaned up and ready. And what I've done is I've approximated where the gearbox <coughs> is gonna go. It's be a bit higher at the back, I think, and maybe a bit further back. And I think it'll lift up a bit at the front. But I've not got the engine or anything, these ma or anything, any of that. So I'm guessing, and it, it just sits on that cross member there, and this bracket, whatever it is, just touches on the back brake thing. So I'm not going to fuck about with them because they might be all right, you know, without the engine in to try. I don't fucking know. I'll see what G says. Um, in the meantime, I can clean the frame rails of. Uh, this coat in again with my own clean up disc and put a new cross member in just in front of this and that'll leave room to get the oil lines out from the diner diner sump like won't it and then we can turn our attention to shortening this fucking structure oh, God. Oh, it's heavy. shortening this structure getting rid of that inch and a quarter so yeah We'll fucking see what we're going to do there. So here's the new cross member. I'll put a bit of inch in. This uh, standard frame tube on this is inch and eighth, if I recall. But that drop in size is not detrimental at all because it gives us room for the sump of the shovel engine and to clear the oil ways. I'm just going to tack that in. That is dead fucking square. I'm going to tack it in and then I'm going to off of the gearbox in again like just to double check before I weld it in I don't want it fouling the oil lines but I don't think it will I think they're well out of the way there like right uh, last job on the agenda is to shorten this by an inch and a quarter so that it corresponds with the new mounting hairs and the mounts with the front one there like so you know can't fucking sit like that it'd be too far out and we ain't having the pivot anymore for the back brake because it's well over engineered we don't need all this fucking shit when we can just have one straight fucking one sing single a single actuator rod with a bit of a dog leg in it if needs be so what I need to do is work out how the fuck I'm going to shorten that by an inch and a quarter so far my best bet is cutting it off and then drilling this face this you know where where it's come from like and then machining this down so it plugs through and then having a weld on the back that's my idea that's my plan like so i think we can do that i think we can cut it off with a cutting disc like so and dress that up shove that through weld it on the back fucking happy days well, that went rather well. I've lost the fucking bracket. Oh, here it is. No, we're off. Cut off and centre marked, and I'll try and rig it up here somehow. It's, it's a slippery fucking sucker. And you may notice there's a slight raised thread. Well, I didn't fucking notice, did I? So 
I've got a brave little soldier medal on my finger. Fucking deep as fuck. I'm going away soon as well. Could do without that. Anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this down so it leaves a bit of a shoulder. And this is 12 mil long, this way, and 12 mil diameter. So right. it's not unsurprisingly not round. And I'm gripping it on the splines, which is not always the best. Let me just turn my fucking feet and speed. So I just want to get a round bit. Go nice and steady with this. Because, like I say, we're not even gripping it. Well, we're gripping it on the splines, aren't we? Which is not ideal. So, I just keep chipping away. I'm trying to get it fucking flat. Round, I mean. So, I'm just roughing off, look. Yeah, we're going to leave that there. That edge there, look. That's going to stay on. Come on, you bastard. Here we go, I think we're getting there now. Right, we'll have a measure. We'll see what size it is. And then we can go from there, can't we? It is. Ooh. Sorry, fucking wrecking the joint. Is that a juggler? 24.2. At that, so. X is 24.2 and we're going to take a couple of mil off 40 thou depth of cut see how that goes uh, you can join me when we get near the finish oh, right. let's just move you if my calculations are correct which they sometimes are this should leave a peg sticking out 13 millimetres in diameter so I can drill a 13 millimetre hole in the uh, bracket and then knock it through and fucking weld it up. We do want it about half inch so about 13 mil long as well which is about there. There. So give yourself a witness mark and I will off camera just chew that off look oh, oh, just quick and dirty it don't really matter until it's down to the right length and that's uh, that's that so, happy days I'll just break that edge like right, that uh. Give it a little bit more actually. Just want to clean that up. Like so. And that, my friends, should be Bob on. Let's try and drill a fucking hole in the bracket and just press it into. All right. I've got it clamped as tight as I can in this vice and it's the right fucking awkward shape with a sloping back and this, that and the other like. I can't really prop up anything underneath it to support it like. So what I'm going to do is gently, it feels quite soft to this drill like, so I'm gently putting a centre drill in. Um, I normally go straight to size with 13 mil, but I think it'll deflect. I think it'll push the work down like if I do that. Because I can't support it as well as I'd like. So I'm going to centre drill it with this 3 mil. Yeah, 8 centre drill, old proper old school. Put that off and swap out to my 13. Go, then. Wish me luck. And if I can get my fucking handle lined up. Scream if you want to go faster, ain't it, boys? Nice and steady. Just yeah, fucking steady. I want to put my finger under there to hold it, but you know, then I'd have two plasters, wouldn't I? Hey. So, dead gentle. Squibble loop. Oh, I reckon this is going to be fucking peachy. Oh, it's cutting lovely. So, nice and steady. Come on. All the way through. 
nearly there. I think we're just about to break out. Not, not quite. Keep going. Oh man, but here we go. Here we go. Through, look. Ah, uh -huh. that's it. Happy days. We. Right, oh, there it is, boys. So, what I'm going to do is tick it. I think this is drop forged or something similar. It's soft any fucking way, so I'm not too worried, but I'm going to tick it with stainless because stainless is the wonderful fucking forgiving filler. It's everybody's friend. I don't think I've got any thicker stainless rods. No, they're really thin. Yeah. I'll have a look. It might just fuse. It might fucking not work. Here we go. I might have to fucking abandon ship and fucking Megatronic it, but let's see what happens. Well, that worked out. Nice lap, bastard. Fucking off. Uh, if ever it cools down, <laughs> we'll get it bolted on there. And that is one FXR frame adapted to take a dyno gearbox. So we've replaced this, this cross member with a one slightly further forward and smaller. And we've relocated this and modified this mount for the running boards or footballs, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, nice, nice fucking. Nice morning in the shop, that happy days. I'm really pleased with it. There you go, that was a nice quick one, wasn't it? I'm off now, uh, and I'll see you next week. So it just leaves me as always to thank you for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and a sub and all that bollocks. Check out the description for my merchandise, memberships, and my friends. And I'll catch you on the next one. Big love, everyone. <laughs>